Good evening, everybody. It's 548, March 26th. You can see that chemtrail going right across the sky. You see how white everything is back there. Well, you can see those rain barrels underneath the decks. That's what you call backup water. That's just for flushing toilets. Um, I want to remind everybody, when I started this a while back, I was telling everybody, um, I was telling everybody that uh, I asked the Lord for a cabin in the woods when we got to the end of this. And... I don't know if you guys could see that 17, 17, 17, and 77. I don't know. The light has to be just right for you to see it. But I asked the Lord for a cabin in the woods when we got to the end. You guys ever see a sun stretch out like that? And a lens. I want to tell you, it don't look like. Look at all that. Chemtrails just going right through it. You guys, they spray this stuff like they're like it's. Uh, I believe it's like a. Uh, so they can make a projection. You know, so they could try to hide what they want to hide. That's what this is. There's a lot of spiritual activity going on around us, you guys. There's a whole bunch. Um, anyhow, back to it. I asked the Lord for a cabin in the woods when we got to the end. <laughs> but I was also told to get ready. I told you guys I had that dream where I seen everything around me was washed away. Like it was built on the sand. Okay? In other words, they, they're not listening to the teachings of Christ, our Lord and Savior. Okay? You guys, at the end, the books are going to be open. People are going to be separated. I'm not making judgments on anybody. But he still told us to obey his teachings and to get ready. Many people aren't. Yeah, I was looking at that guy, I guess his name's Keith Green. He died in a plane crash some time back. And I was looking at what his music was about, and he said he loved the Lord, but he was surprised to see how Christianity was changing or whatever. And then I listened to some of his music, and I'm like, wow. You know, who did he base this music off of? And I looked it in, and it was Elton John. And I'm thinking, wow, this is supposed to be like, worshiping Christian music based on Elton John's sounding like Elton John and uh, is you guys this is when prosperity the love of and all that stuff started happening you know um, the music people doing what they did becoming famous that's the biggest thing Satan is the prince of this world it's better to be known nobody. You don't want even you don't want any to be anything in this world but just to get through it. You know? I had offers of high paying jobs. I was offered to be made wealthy with my business when I was licensed. I didn't want it. I knew who was offering it. You know? And uh I did not want it. And uh let me tell you something. My phone quit ringing. Once they know you know who they are and you're avoiding them altogether, I was trying to just keep my business going, but not through them. I didn't want to do them. But they literally, the spirit, it gets in everybody. You know, that's why it says these bodies, they're corruptible. They're very corruptible. You have to, uh, that's why it says take control of your vessel. 
in scriptures. I don't even think that's even considered by anybody today. And people don't think, no, not me. They think, not me. It can't happen to me. That ain't going to happen. No, we, they read about it in scriptures where Jesus removed spirits from people. You know, and he warned them, don't sin no more lest something worse happen to you. Well, today, back then you had a lot more people that were fearful of doing things that people do with ease today. Today, it's like considered a common thing. Everybody does it. That's what you'll hear everybody say. Everybody sins, everybody. You know, well, that ain't what they said way back then. They didn't talk like that. You know, actually, they would take you out and stone you at one time. But Jesus didn't want us doing that. He wanted us to overcome sin, overcome it. That's what he came here to do, to destroy the works of it. And then tried to educate people, to tell people about it, how to overcome it, and how to live. Not for these things that are in this world. You know? That's not what's happening. Anyhow, you guys. Um, <coughs> amazing times, you guys. I'm in a cabin in the woods. I didn't ask for this until we got to the end. So, you guys don't have a spirit of fear. It's gonna, it's just gonna get worse. It's not gonna get better. Um, I seen some videos where they were saying in the last days they're gonna be trying to invex, and vaccinate everybody with fear of things like that. Listen, as long as you come out from the world and you know the time we're in, see that's why we had our eyes open to be separate from this, what's going on right now. The Lord's clearly showed us the time. Those of you who have your eyes open. And every night I pray for all my brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray for the children. I pray for Israel. I pray that all those that are in Israel, I pray against the evil that's been coming against Israel. You know, and those that are hate, uh, hate them, God's chosen people. You know, but I also I pray against the evil that's in that's there now working through people. You know, pray for Israel, you guys. That's one thing that God wants us to be doing. Pray for Israel. You know, because evil will not uh, stand up. The gates of hell will not prevail against it. Okay, we're in some amazing times, you guys. You know. This is not the time to be ignorant, though. You know? Be wise. Like it says, five are wise, five are foolish. Right? And then it says, I will liken you to those that hear my sayings, uh, that do my sayings as wise, who built upon a rock, versus those that hear these sayings of mine and doesn't do them, as to a foolish person that built on the sand. That was one of the dreams I had, you guys. We're there now. You know, when the storm came, great was the fall of that house. You guys, when I was looking on the side where it was like a cliff and everything was washed away like sand, and I could see water going through the sand, you know, on, like it just washed everything away. And then my place was on a rock, okay? When the storm comes, you guys, people aren't going anywhere. Remember, it says the tares are gathered first. This is what's happening. And a lot of people don't even know it. The tares are gathered first. Yeah, it's close. We're going to be going soon. But we're going to be seeing tares gathered first. This is where you want to be showing the Lord. He knows our hearts. When these things begin to happen, you're not going to be moved. Why? Because you're on that rock. The rock. You know? That house will stand. When that storm hits, it won't be moved because it was built upon a rock versus all those other people that are building on the sand, hearing what they want to hear, you know, the warnings in scriptures, you know. That's why I say these people are going to be like a thing of the past where it warned about these things. Clearly warned. Anyhow, you guys, let's see if we can see any new chemtrails out here. Okay. 
It's happening, man. There they go right there. You can see all that white, it's all fake. Okay, you guys. Remember, man, it's getting ready to happen, ain't it? My cabin in the woods. That's what I asked the Lord for, you guys. My cabin in the woods. Then he told me to get ready. I heard a voice saying, Go, little lamb, go.